welcome to EG1000 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to make animation of your product so you can present it to your clients. Uh, Fusion 360 has a really good feature of that. It used to be known as the Fusion Publisher before, but now you can do it very easy. So first of all, I can just click on the detail I want to present to my clients. So here is what you have for your exercise tool. Now, in the next step, I need to save it at another one because I don't want to change the original file. So I just click on file and save as. And I save as, for example, it should be animated. Save. Now in here, I have my product and I'm going to make animation of this. So I have to change the workspace to animations. On the left hand side, you have a storyboard and I just rename it to what I need. For example, I get it uh, explore the view. Yep. And here is your home uh, positions. You don't want to change this one because it will change the original position. Now, just move your um, timeline indicator to the zero, for example. And this is the first timeline. Actually, you don't need to change anything here. Now, you need to set up a new keyframe for the animation. So, for example, I move to one and I change my view. For example, like this, uh, maybe this way look better so you see that a camera is automated recorded over here and if you click on the play button you can see it move this way now I move to the other side as well for example 3 and then I move my view again to this way I may click on the back to get it right over here so you see the camera is moved again now I play it again to see down and then move because it moved too quick so therefore I might want to make it longer and make a small gap over here now if I add the edition I can change it for example to 3 seconds for example like that now let's see it again yep now after that you want to explore the details to see inside your uh, components so this way, I have to move my timeline a bit more and then I try to explore it. You can choose many options from here uh, because I often do it manually. So I use transform component M. So I click on any component and try to move it out, for example, like this. Okay, to confirm, transform the component again click on this one and move it out and OK and click on this one transform component again and move it down for example like that so I need to change the view a bit to centralize my uh, details so maybe like that a bit further down this way OK and click on OK to confirm now you have to move this because it's all the way backwards. So I have to move it forward a bit. This way and this way. Now we can have a look. You see? From beginning, change and move away. Yep. Now we can move away and change it together. So I think I can make this one back here. And I set the duration to 6.5, so it should be 2 seconds. Yep. Now, in the next step, right, the next step, I want to make the unnecessary detail disappear. So I move to this one keyframe forward. And then I open my component, animated component. I make the bay disappear the bracket disappear yep and then i move forward about one second and then make the roller bigger 
Yep, and move forward two seconds to explore this one. Now I transform my bush this way, the other bush, the other way, and my roller to be out. Uh, I think I need to zoom in a bit, a bit. Otherwise, I can have enough space for everything. So this one, this way, and this one, this way. For example, like this. So I have all of them here, and I click on OK. Now just double check it. Move in. Get all of them out. You might want to get the bush out first to signal that the roller is inside the bush, but it's okay for me. Now, in the next step, I make the other things disappear as well, so I don't need the bushes, and I don't need the roller. I try to focus on this one. Okay, and next step, I zoom in the spindle. So, change the camera view and make it bigger like this and then in the next step for example this way I rotate to see the hole yep and then I move further and I rotate to see this hole yep so I think I finished my animations and let's see it again so this is my original detail. Rotate again to see other side. Explore. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you can just publish as video and select the property here. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next tutorial.